Hi everyone. Hey, I just finished this trailer build and I thought I would uh, post a quick video to kind of share with everybody what I did and hopefully give others ideas on uh, things that they can do to theirs. I just finished the painting the trailer floor so it looks really good right now too. Um, I do want to start off by thanking all those other people out there that posted videos like this because it gave me some great ideas. I spent, spent probably a year uh, watching YouTube videos and surfing on the internet to try and figure out what I wanted to do and uh, it's turned out really good. This is a 2018 Look Vision series trailer. It's 20 feet long, uh, 8 feet wide on the inside and just shy of uh, 7 feet tall. And you can see that it has two windows. You can see them there. Okay, we'll go inside and just do a really quick turn uh, preview. Then I'll come back and we'll talk about the things that I did to it. All right. We'll start back here with this bungee track. I got this from Pit Products. I like it. It's low profile. It comes out from the wall about an inch. And it keeps things organized and upright. Really, really like that. Up here, I have uh, some L brackets. I put uh, the tent that you see here on the floor up in this rack system. I got these off of eTrailer.com. They're actually uh, uh, kayak brackets. They actually came out 24 inches from the wall. I cut them in half and attached this D-ring so I could bungee it and keep it in place, but it's it's worked out really nice. I was trying to find a, a bracket system that had a, a higher than normal uh, rate, weight rating. This one has, I believe, a 100 pound rating, primarily for this guy over here. This is an ABC camp or a canopy. I, I would say it probably weighs 65 pounds. And so, um, these L brackets work perfectly and I, and I haven't had any problems with them and they, they work really well. Okay, I'll come over here. Uh, down here I have uh, a bench, two benches. We we dirt bike and I got these for my kids and myself when we when we change, we have somewhere to sit. I really like these uh, this, this version of chair. I got these from Allendale RV and Trailer in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. They have, a man, I, I think, a local manufacturing there called uh, DSW. But I really like this because, uh, man, they're just so convenient. They have a little knob here you can pull to release it. And then when you put it back up, this leg tucks right under that bracket right there and stays in place and doesn't, doesn't even move. And that's what it looks like installed. These are like four feet long. And there's a close-up of the knob. Another Allendale RV and trailer product, a DSW manufacturer, a helmet and boot holder. I really like this. I haven't quite found anything like it as and, and as long and as, as as far out that it comes. Worked out really nicely for us. I really like these uh, hangers. We can hang up our gear and clothing. And when we're camping, we'll just throw a towel over that to give us a little bit more privacy and it works out great. Tie down rack, another pit products item. Thing that I like about these is, is uh, they're low profile. They only come out about an inch and they come pre-drilled 16 inches apart and so you find the stud and and uh, bam you're done it's worked out really nice and it gives us a place to keep our our tie downs in an organized way and it looks good up here we have c-tech manufacturing cabinets i love these guys i bought two four feet sections in hindsight i maybe i, I wish i would have bought just a eight foot long uh, single unit but that's just the way it worked out and uh, I, I bought this primarily because I like the latch system. C-Tech, great job, love the design, and I feel like it's a cut above uh, a lot of other cabinets out there. 
Okay, so a preview of what it looks like. I think these are gas shocks or oil shocks. I didn't, when I bought these, I didn't know that they didn't have tops. These are the their Econo line series, probably the, the least expensive. I know some of the other versions do have tops, but I didn't mind because uh, the things that I have in here, they, they sometimes go above the level of this the cabinet ceiling, so it works out nicely for us. So we keep a lot of camp gear, tools, um, blankets, you know, just a, I think we have a hammer, axe. Here's our tools. We have an electric heater. This obviously goes above, and so, you know, I, I don't mind one bit. I was going to try and put this all the way up to the ceiling, and it looks kind of weird, but I kind of like it now. Uh, our The trailer ceiling is a little bit domed, and it wouldn't have sat flush, and so I just installed it below the trim, but really really like it here we have another clothes rack track thing that i like about this is it's aluminum lightweight and a slide i think i got that in idaho falls at like a, a trailer manufacturing place oh this this is really nice a tow racks folding table i got this on etrailer.com the thing that i like about this is it's uh, adjustable and removable. So when you want it up, we don't use it all for the inside of the trailer, but when you want it up, just pull up and it latches. And then it mounts to the wall with these button mounts. Really, really neat design. Love that, love that it's portable. And when we do use it, we uh, put it on the outside of our trailer for grilling or putting food on or drinks. And it's that really nice. When you want it down, push that button there. This button over here. And it goes down nicely. Over here we have a, a five gallon water jug holder. I got this on Amazon for probably 40 bucks. And a friend of mine, so they, it didn't come with these holes in it. So a friend of mine has a mill. He helped me and uh, I think you need two hands for this. <laughs> there we go. And that, that's what the button mounts look like. <laughs> really, really awesome design and idea. And I love that you can uh, remove things, make them portable. So when it goes on, you just slide it over the mount. Shift it down. I can't do this with one hand. There we go, and it's seated. And we don't we don't use this on on the inside of the trailer either. It's a it's for camping and riding dirt bikes. Uh, just install it on the outside of the trailer, and we're good to go. The one of the coolest features I like about this trailer is the shelving system up front and the Vinos. So uh, a friend of mine. His name's Rami Katrib. I work with him at one of the national laboratories in town here in Albuquerque, and he has a personal business uh, called Owl Expedition. He essentially manufactures aftermarket parts for off-road vehicles, and, uh, you know, he did an amazing job. Um, these, are, these beams are made out of steel. They're two by two by one, and... Uh, the top bar is vertical, the bottom bar is horizontal, which allows one inch on the inside to mount the OSB. And installed a uh, Tool Trex liner. I got this off of Amazon. The thing that I like about this is it's rubber. It's really durable, keeps things from sliding around, and uh, I think it's gonna last a long time. Really, really like it. And this is what it looks like on the bottom side of both. I have a brace underneath, a brace along the left side, middle, and on the right. Those are mounted into studs in the wall. And I couldn't be happier. That he did an amazing job, like everything that he does. And then we took them off once we got them fabbed up and fitted and sent them over to get powder coated in aluminum color. I. I'm very happy with this. Down here we have a cord hanger from Pit Products. 
thing I like about this is it's rounded on the top and on the sides, and so it's not going to cause any damage to those electrical cords. Underneath here, what, I, what, what I'm going to put is I have a Honda inverter generator, and uh, I'm going to put it right here under this shelf and strap it down to the ground so uh, we can keep it in here just in case we, we need it. We need power and electricity. Another... C-Tech manufacturing cabinet. Love this once again. The latch system is, is top of the line in my in my mind. Here, C-Tech manufacturing, Econoline series. Well, I don't think this is Econoline, but the others are. Two shelf system. I installed in all the cabinets. I installed this uh, toolbox liner, which is actually different from the what I have on the the shelf and the vinos this one's more pliable more foamy type and the other on the shelving is is uh really firm and rubbery not sure what i'm going to use this for but right now we have clothes and goggles and gloves probably i just barely got these installed a couple weeks ago and i'm not sure what i'm going to put up here probably a toolbox containers for when we're camping or going uh riding with some friends not sure, but it's nice to have the space. Over here we have a fluid organizer. This is uh, from Pit Products. Uh, there was one from the Allendale RV and trailer that I really liked, but the thing that I liked about this one is it's a little more low profile. The, the other one from uh, Allendale RV and trailer came out, uh, looked like quite a bit more and wanted something that was closer, tucked away. Um, so what do we got here? Oil, a little bottle of propane for the grill, earplugs for the razor when uh, the kids and I are riding, and my wife. Some tools, can't wait to get more tools, and uh, a workbench, I really like this. This is uh, some of that toolbox liner. It's uh, soft and pliable, unlike the uh, shelving system in the Vinos but I really like it. And then on the bottom side, we have a paper towel dispenser, two rolls. Really, really like this. It tucks up nicely uh, and it has these little buttons on the side that keep it up. Down here, we have a lifetime table. Use this for riding and camping. Just throw it outside. And uh, when we're not using it, fit nicely against the wall with these D-rings and bungee cords. DSW trash can, uh, just uh, I like the taper it has to it. There's tons out there, but I, I kind of like this one. It has a plastic container on the inside that you can remove and clean if you need to. Uh, small, and uh, really, really like it. This is, uh, once again, from Allendale RV and Trailer. Their manufacturer is DSW out of Alberta, Canada. Another picture of uh, the bench folded down. We talked about the ABC Canopy L brackets. For the L brackets, once again, are from E-Trailer. Can't remember what kind they were, but I know they were uh, canoe brackets. Okay, so we have a spare tire holder. Uh, this one is Extreme Max Products. Wheel, wheel mount. This one was actually on the ground. And... Uh, I don't know. I, I I felt like when we're bringing bringing in the ra pulling in the razor, it just got in the way. I I actually had this fuel container holder on the ground as well in the front, and it just got in the way. And so I I put everything a little bit higher, and I absolutely love it. I would try and avoid installing anything on the floor just so you have more access. Uh, I think th this uh, fuel container holder was in the front. Obviously, the, tra the the tire was on the floor right here, and yeah, I just, just felt like it got in the way. Uh, these are all mounted to the studs of the wall, and a uh, really, really strong system. You'll see here, once again, I have the toolbox liner, pliable, nice and soft, just keeps things from moving and a little quieter. And that's it. Uh, oh, I do have the track system. So e-track. Got these, I think, from Amazon or actually 
e-track I can't remember um, in hindsight I kind of wish I might have just went all the way from the back to all the way to the front um, can't even remember why I did it this way in the first place but uh, the tracks mounted to the beams on the bottom of the trailer I probably didn't need to do all these screws but uh, my kids were out here helping me when I, when I did this and they love operating power tools and wanted them to be part of the process. So they had a, real, a lot of fun uh, drilling these, these screws in. So if I ever remove them, I'll just plug them. It's, it's not a big deal at all. And another thing that I like about this trailer is uh, not only the walls, uh, I don't know if these are sheet metal, but the, the white walls, I have four lights. These, I think, were factory. I think these are LED. And the guy, that, this is another LED factory one. The guy that I bought it from, I think he installed these lights and the Dometic. I'm not sure if that's the right way to say it, or, but uh, anyway, air conditioning unit. Love this for camping. My wife and I will blow up an air mattress in here and uh, the kids are young and they still like camping so we'll, we'll throw a trailer out on the side here and they enjoy that. And then two more lights. And uh, so in the evening when we're riding or camping, we can really brighten it up and take the party inside. It's been nice. I'll show you outside really quickly where I mount this tow racks folding table on the outside. There we go. There's the button mount. And I installed that so it's cabinet height. It doesn't look like it. It looks like kind of low in this video, but um, it's, it's countertop height and it works out really nicely. And I'm going to put, I have uh, some button mounts on the front of the trailer that you can't see for the five gallon water cooler actually going to put some probably over here so it's a little closer to the table and uh, depending on where we're camping or the position of the trailer I can move it around anyway that's a, a trailer and our razor project yeah that happened and thanks for watching once again everybody uh, who's created one of these videos thanks for the ideas uh, it really came in handy loved it and uh, my trailer, it's, it's turned out great. I couldn't have asked for a better setup. And so there it is. Thanks, guys. Bye.